Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one is going to be about your person. What are they currently thinking, feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you, towards the near future? All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guides, please. First Scorpio regarding love. First Scorpio. What messages, guidance do you have for Scorpio spirit? Judgment call and time out. So timing is important here. I feel like someone is making a judgment call at a specific time or at the right time. I feel like someone has also been waiting to make this decision. I'm not sure why. We'll, we'll see what we get with this. But I feel like someone has been waiting to make a judgment call or an important decision here. Bottom of the deck, we have wedding bells. Marriage could be a... Uh, you know relevant here or a long-term commitment we'll see what else for Scorpio what else do we need to know for Scorpio in love what do we need to know spirit what do we need to know for Scorpio Great fortune, number 26, pathway at the bottom of the deck. I'm thinking of the wheel of fortune here with this um, great fortune card. I'm not sure why, because I don't think this card means that. Good luck, wealth, happiness. Yeah, this is like the wheel of fortune. Okay, so this is good, Scorpio feel like um, a judgment call is going to lead to this kind of energy, this good luck, good fortune, things working out. So let's get into this. Spirits, angels, guides, and insight, please. For Scorpio. I'm going to clarify all of these separately to kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with here. Why is judgment call? here why is judgment call here all of the decks that i use by the way are linked in the description box if you're curious why is judgment call here knight of pentacles so this is some sort of opportunity um but this opportunity i feel is tied to a decision Almost like someone is choosing this opportunity above another opportunity or instead of something else. Can I get one more for judgment call? Why is judgment call here? Three of wands. There's that waiting energy. Someone was waiting for this or maybe time. It took a long time here because the Knight of Pentacles is pretty slow. Um, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. An Ace of Cups. Interesting. So I'm getting this message that some of you are dealing with a situation where, and I say some of you because obviously it's not going to resonate for everyone, but also this could be you or your person. Um, so I don't want to say you, Scorpio, or your person specifically, but whoever has been waiting, I feel like they were waiting for some sort of like, truth or message or some sort of conversation to take place here with the knight of swords because I'm, I'm picturing like a message coming in almost like someone was waiting for a message coming in in order to then be able to do what they want to do seven of wands after that queen of cups this is about someone that they have feelings for and then the world. So yeah, this opportunity is going to lead to something new or a new cycle here. Okay, let's keep going because I am going to clarify that even more. But tell me about time out. Tell 
Tell me about timeout. Why is timeout here? We have the Ten of Wands. Can I get another one, please, for timeout? Why is timeout here? Six of Pentacles. So I feel like someone was doing something on their own here. Maybe they had a lot of obligations, responsibilities, a lot of things they needed to take care of. And I feel like for some reason with the Six of Pentacles, I'm picturing one person doing all of this. We have Strength at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Leo energy here. So it's almost like someone had to be strong to carry this big weight, this heavy load. The High Priestess and the Eight of Swords. Fear and then the Chariot. Cancer energy moving forward. So there's been, there's been, I feel like a back and forth energy here. Especially with this Six of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but it's almost like I'm specifically picking up instead of balance, I'm, pi I'm picturing like a seesaw. Okay, I will clarify that too. Tell me about the Great Fortune energy. What is this about? The Hermit. Virgo energy. Why is the Great Fortune energy here? The Emperor, Aries energy. Interesting that the Major Arcana is only came out here. Um, interesting. I'm I'm getting the case or the case. <laughs> I'm getting that this is a case of someone who is making this great fortune happen for themselves. I have the Hermit and the Emperor. The Emperor is a doer, and also they they like to take control. They like to take charge of a situation. Um, and then with the Hermit, I'm almost getting like this Emperor energy was thinking really long and hard about how to make this happen. Perhaps they were, um, I got the, the word observing with the Hermit, especially because of this deck. Um, in this deck, I can't speak English for some reason. In this deck, there's like somebody looking through a telescope. So almost like observing, being analytical, looking into things, um, doing research, that kind of energy. You know, this is this is someone that planned this or is planning this. So let's see, let's give him a little clarifying deck here. Can I get some insight, please? For Scorpio. Of these energies for Scorpio. I keep seeing major arcanas when I shuffle this deck. Not sure what's going on, but major shifts in energy. Major arcanas are just really powerful energies that kind of lead us to new places, new new cycles. Um, they're they're so powerful that you can't really like uh, ignore them, basically. Okay, so let's start here with this Three of Wands. I want to know what this Three of Wands is about. Why is the Three of Wands here? Why is the Three of Wands here? Temperance. Yeah, this is about timing. Uh, the timing is very important here. Sagittarius energy with temperance. Um, I feel like someone has been working on something for a while. Scorpio, whether this is you or your person, whatever judgment call this is, someone has been thinking about it for a long time. And I feel like they're trying to be smart here, moderated, tempered, uh, patient. Can I get one more for the three of wands? The moon, Pisces energy. Um, Claire, um, maybe there's something here where someone had to do this in secret and also there's not a lot of clarity. 
So maybe someone's still working on something to gain this clarity. Maybe someone's working in secret or keeping this to themselves. The fact that they're planning this or wanting this. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but they are here. The, uh, the energies anyway. I feel like someone has no idea how this is going to turn out. Yeah, the Hermit showed up again with the Knight of Cups, I believe. Yeah. What's this? The Sun Reverse. Um, yeah, I, I feel like someone has no idea how this is going to turn out. There's the world at the bottom of the deck. Um, and that's why planning is so important for this person. Virgo energy with the Hermit. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. This new opportunity could be anything. I'm not picking up love right away. It's very interesting. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, even though the Knight of Cups showed up. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Strength Reverse. Can I go one more place for the Knight of Pentacles? Queen of Wands. Okay, so these are like opposing energies here, kind of. Um, Queen of Wands is very bold and they go after what they want. There's the Wheel of Fortune. This is about an opportunity that someone desires, wants, is planning for. I don't know what this is in regards to, um, but I feel like this person kind of goes back and forth between feeling very brave and bold and then being kind of like tired and maybe a bit scared because I don't think this person knows what the outcome will be. Oh, and there's a tower. So yeah, maybe a tower needs to happen here and a to towers are always kind of challenging. Tell me about the 10 of wands and the six of pentacles. Sorry, tell me about the 10 of wands and the six of pentacles. Why is the 10 of wands and the six of pentacles here? Justice, reverse, Libra energy. Why is the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here? Well, right away, um, something is not fair or just or balanced. Um, and also, um, okay, and then we have the Hangman. Um, look at all of these major arcanas coming up. Something is happening here for sure. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. Um, Someone, I feel, is seeing a situation possibly in a new perspective, from a new angle. I'm also picking up that someone is almost like unfairly stuck or unfairly is unable to make the action that they need to make, possibly because of what, whatever burden or obligation this is. With justice reverse, I'm getting almost too with the hangman especially that it's almost like someone didn't see the logic or wasn't objective about something. So um, justice is very objective and it's, it's only concerned with the truth. When justice is there, it's almost like it doesn't matter how you feel about something. <laughs> so I feel like, you know, justice is able to look at all of the angles, all of the different sides of the equation, right? And so with the hangman, I feel like this is the main message rather than in balance, right? I feel like someone's realizing or realized the truth of a situation or is starting to because at first they couldn't see this. Can I get one more for justice reverse? Can I get one more please? For justice reverse. Why is justice reverse here? The Hierophant. So this could be about some sort of another major arcana some sort of commitment. Um, the Hierophant is a card about tradition, conformity. It's about societal expectations, societal pressures. It's about having this pressure to conform, to do what is expected. Um, it's a card about institutions, uh, knowledge, uh, religious knowledge, you know. Um, but I, I, it's also here a card about, I feel, a commitment because we did have wedding, the wedding card show up. 
So it wouldn't surprise me, especially with Justice Reverse, that this is about a connection that someone is in or was in or something like that. I feel like there's clarity now with the King of Swords here and the Hangman. It's like someone's realizing something here. Six of Wands and Knight of Wands Reverse. I feel like someone um, got carried away by what other people said or thought about what they were doing. A lot of eyes on them or at least a lot of people talking about this. Um, and I feel like this person might be thinking that this was a mistake because it ended up being, I feel, almost like an illusion here with Justice Reverse. Like they couldn't see something clearly. This could also be a divorce for some of you, but I don't think it, I don't think it's finalized because it's reverse. Tell me about the Hermit and the Emperor. Why is the Hermit and the Emperor here? Why is the Hermit and the Emperor here? The Chariot. Yeah, this is about, oh my God, more Major Arcana. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, the magician. Yeah, this is about moving forward, taking action, um, making a move of some sort. This could be a physical move as well. The chariot is a is a card about being on the direction, on the path towards success. Oops. I'm gonna put those back because this is like four different cards, way too many. Okay, tell me about the Hermit and the Emperor. If they're meant to come out, those cards will come out again. Tell me about the Hermit and the Emperor, please. Okay, so they want to give me three cards. Okay. Ace of Wands, Reverse. Four of Swords, Reverse. And the Emperor, Reverse. Interesting. I feel like this is someone that was prevented or delayed or wasn't taking action at, at some point. Maybe this is where they're at right now. I think that um, they need to... I feel like this person has needed to be patient because again, I feel timing is very important here. The Four of Swords Reverse is a card about kind of being restless or starting to wake up to take some action here. I feel like this person possibly at first, you know, couldn't get a handle on the situation or felt like they were powerless or like they didn't have control over what happened. And I feel like that's what made them get into this hermit mode because they had to really think about what to do here. Tell me about this Four of Swords reverse. Why is the Four of Swords reverse? Yeah, Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Death, Scorpio Energy. Yeah, it's almost like um, someone needs to um, figure out what they truly want. What is their wish fulfillment? What is their, emo their idea of success? What is their idea of being emotionally fulfilled? And what is that going to cost? Because I think it's going to cost a tower or an ending of some sort. Tell me about this Emperor Reverse. Why is the Emperor Reverse? Five of Pentacles Reverse. So there was some sort of struggle here um, that someone had to, I feel, overcome. Maybe there's some sort of recovery. Maybe there was financial difficulty and they had to kind of recover from this. And until then, they couldn't really do much, is what I'm picking up. Seven of Pentacles, Reverse. That card was one of the cards that fell on the floor. Yeah, there's the Hermit. It's almost like this person was pushed to think about something differently because um, they were seriously delayed. But the Seven of Pentacles, Reverse, is almost like, was all my, my efforts for nothing? Um, did I waste my time and impatience, you know? And again, Scorpio, this could be you or your person that is in this type of situation. So let's see what we need to know about this other person that you are dealing with. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Scorpio is dealing with. 
What do we need to know about this other person? Ah. <laughs> if I could just get it together, that'd be great. What do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is dealing with? What do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is dealing with? What do we need to know about them? Justice, okay? Justice is upright. Libra energy. What do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is dealing with? <laughs> Six of Pentacles. So this is what I feel is more about balance. Bottom of the deck is the Two of Pentacles, exactly. So this is more I feel about balance. I'm picking up more balance energy from these two. I feel like this is someone that wants to make things right now that the opportunity is presenting itself or wants to balance something now that the opportunity is presenting itself here. Seven of Swords after that. Interesting. So I feel like this person was dealing with someone that maybe was messing with their success or trying to interfere or try to make things difficult for them. Can you tell me more about justice and the Six of Pentacles? What's this about? Death, Scorpio energy. Can you tell me more about justice and the Six of Pentacles? You showed up twice already. Can you tell me more about justice and the Six of Pentacles? Seven of Swords. Yeah, the Seven of Swords I feel is important. It's almost like someone here has been trying to kind of get in the way. Page of Cups, the Empress, and the Four of Swords, Two of Wands, Queen of Cups, Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like a mental um, thing. I feel like this is this could also be someone strategizing and ending. Can I get one more for Justice and the Six of Pentacles? This person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, I feel like they are strategizing. Yep, the wheel. This is about them making sure that they are creating an opportunity for themselves. And for some reason, this involves you. I have the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I have the Page of Cups here and Empress Energy and the Four of Swords. Um, the Four of Swords. Why the Four of Swords? I feel like this is that Hermit Energy, kind of like reflecting planning, resting. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The Lovers. Gemini energy. It's almost like thinking about, yeah, this is about love. Someone's thinking about their person. Maybe they're thinking about what to tell, what to say to their person with the Queen of Swords. Um, I feel like being honest about love or being honest about something to do with this other person. So let's see where all of this is headed. Um, let's look at what, where all of this is headed. Spirit, where is all of this headed in the near future between Scorpio and this other person? Where is all of this headed? Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Where's all of this headed for Scorpio and this other person? Where's all of this headed? Judgment, yep. Judgment is very important. And then I'm gonna also take out that other card, the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this is all kind of um, connected here. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant again. So basically what I see is I see someone working hard, building, working together with other people possibly here. I see, excuse me, difficulty and conflict, especially with the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. This isn't going to be easy. I feel like this judgment call is not going to be easy, possibly because it involves a commitment. Um, yeah, Eight of Swords. Someone's like worried about this in a way. And Temperance again will, you know, I feel like someone's... um worried about the success of something because again i don't feel like they really know how this is going to end up tell me about judgment i feel like judgment is the most important card here <laughs> tell me about judgment what is judgment 
judgment doing here, Spirit? What is judgment? Ah! There's the wheel. And then this is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That is great fortune indeed. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like someone is... um is making a judgment call here waking up to the idea of an opportunity can i get one more for judgment king of pentacles this could also be that someone else does a judgment or or issues a judgment like if this is a divorce for example bottom of the deck five of pentacles and the fool and the Knight of Swords, I feel like this. there's some sort of risk involved um, monetarily, like a financial risk here. But with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like eventually this is going to be overcome. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. I feel like someone's starting over, basically. Um, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Hermit. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Hermit energy again. Virgo energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Emperor. Okay. So this is about strategy. Aries energy. This Seven of Swords is about strategy. This is a strategy that someone is really thinking about. They could even be thinking about, oh, I need to do this in a sneaky way or away from everybody's eyes. Um, in order to be successful. Um, they could also be thinking, you know, about a particular person that could get in the way of their success and thinking about how to maneuver around that. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Empress. Tell me about the Three of Swords. The Chariot. Mm, someone could be walking away from an empress energy. Interesting. Tell me more about this three of swords. The star, Aquarius energy, Cancer energy, the magician at the bottom of the deck. So why the Three of Swords? It's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like someone is walking away from something in order to have hope or a wish fulfilled or healing the magician at the bottom of the deck, Three of Cups after that in the world. Yeah, it's like someone's manifesting this move, but I feel like they're moving away from an empress. I don't know why that would be. Unless this is like the person they're married to, or if this is a third party, this could be a parent or a, a family figure. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Yeah, this is someone like planning a move. Eight of Pentacles and working really hard at this. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. 